click to skip don't care blah, 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 blah. okay um we're gonna go straight into it um his co-workers were gone what could it mean it Stanley means decided to go to the meeting room yum. a good bucket a strong bucket a humble bucket a committed bucket a bucket of culture and distinction we know what we're talking about with buckets okay stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left wrong this was not the correct way to the meeting room but stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be and it is and we're here and here it was wow what the bucket turned out to be correct was this better than the meeting room yes stanley thought to himself yes perhaps it truly was it was how insightful the bucket turned out to be no never mind the bucket was wrong stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room okay and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door Mm. No. We're going to go down here. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. <gasps> I knew you'd find this place eventually. Yeah? Oh. Baby's here. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. Uh huh. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. Uh -huh. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before yes i know i'm the one who gave you the bucket but you're spending too much time with it don't you want another story involving the adventure line we could make the adventure line go somewhere new yes yes that's what the fans want let's do it I see we can go into the closet, but there's no extra dialogue as we know the truth. It's not the true bucket. And it's not the true broom closet. My poor cardboard baby. Um, okay. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Okay. Thank you. Bum ba da bum ba dum bum. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <gasps> no! <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. My will to live? A phone. Oh. Oh, ominous. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. <gasps> That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh, no. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Uh. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Cards. You don't need me to spell it out for Solitaire. you. Solitaire. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I disagree. Um, oh, okay. Now listen to me. 
It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. No! Hurry and... Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Goodbye. It wasn't meant to be, to be honest. I don't think this is what we deserve. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Thank you. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming back, but that's okay. You've got a bucket. Did I you do. know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices? It's true. You can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive. I'm serious, Stanley. Jump. Jump with the bucket. I promise you'll live. I extra double promise that you can land on the bucket and not die. I'm coming for that. Figly? Is that what we called You're it? Getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very nice. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, <gasps> and that will be it. I don't really know what that There'll one means. Oh, people six and six. Then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. Well, that's none a lot of one. syllables for one thing. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can just... Oh. Ah. I don't really know where I am. Cassettes. Narrator dialogue. Oh. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number. <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. No. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel 
every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. Mm, okay. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Ah. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... <gasps> no. What's that? Who's there? Caporata. What's you? Sometimes Gambrata, you know. Let's go in again. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Uh. Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. <laughs> all right. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming back, but that's okay. You've got a bucket. Did you know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices? It's true. You can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive. There's not a smaller... Well, I guess in theory if I fell in those boxes it should be alright, you think? Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Well, dang, you know. Let's do straight Good. forward. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Oh, OK. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the sus. bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Mm -mm. No, we didn't, girl. Hmm. 
No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. Oh, okay. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Okay. Please, stay oh. here for a moment. Okay. Oh. Well, then. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Yep. Okay, let's begin. Let's go. Item one. Is this a bucket? Um... I'm... I'm gonna say yes. Incorrect. Oh it is shit! A of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay. Okay. Item two. Is this a bucket? Can I get a an audience vote? Okay. No. I'm gonna say no. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay, okay. What's does that still not make it a bucket? You can use it and it looks like a bucket, but item 3. Is this a bucket? Is it a mm. It's a shame I can't go, you know, up to inspect it. I'm going to I'm going to yeah. Correct. Nice. This is a bucket. <gasps> Item four. Is this a bucket? The new question is, is this a trick question? Is this a tractor? Yes. Is there a bucket within it? I'm going to say yes. Yes, bucket. <gasps> Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. Oh. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. Oh, excuse this me. This was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Sorry. Let's just move on to the next That was a trick. Okay. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. This is a bucket. <laughs> I'm a genius. Item six. Is this a bucket? Ooh, is this a bucket? I'm gonna say no. Trick question. <gasps> both. Oh, gotcha. well, I don't got a both. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Oh, okay. So it should be around here somewhere. Oh. Oh. Um. Um. There's no bucket there. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Yeah. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Correct. But when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. No, it is. Every, Unless, everything's is a bucket. What you think? Yes. Answer me straight, Stanley. Yes. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything yes. is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What Understandable. Is what isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Danny, I can't keep doing this. What do you mean? I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. 
I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game. No, 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 no. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Nope. I'm a bucket. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Tells you everything's a bucket. Everything a bucket? Yes. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Mm. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. You gotta put the bucket so, back. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. I'll reset everything. Mm. We'll put back all of the buckets. Okay. Okay. And yep. we'll know that it's all a bucket. Yes. If you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. I won't, no. Who knows what that information might do to a person. All right. Fair. Here we go. The cargo lift, yes. Go Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Mm -hmm. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. As you do, man. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Okay. What is this? The beige pages? Um, hmm. It is zero 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 zero. My beautiful paintings of buckets. Uh huh. Oh my. Fakely dirty cups, my dirty sink. Sunset, yeah. What a bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press in to take me to work with you. Okay. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press G to take me back home with you. Let me just make sure I can't go anywhere else. Okay. Oh. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press R for us to go back home. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press H to ignore anyone in your life, except for me. It's sad, but I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. 
Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press K to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Press I to relive the same day with me over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's this property of Stanley. It's my bucket. Press P to go back. Press P to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No, oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? We're going to do the bucket. bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. <laughs> We're going to have relations with the bucket. Please hold, sir. I need to uh, have a gander. Thirteen? Stanley, give me the bucket. No. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. No. I need it. Give it to me now. Close your eyes. <laughs> Go back to work, Stanley. A cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Thank you. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Okay. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Yeah, I did. Until. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? I'm... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy. Yes, there is. Watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Okay. What is comedic timing? Oh, thanks. What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? Oh, okay. And more importantly. Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is... Yes. 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 Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told deeper. a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Hmm, okay. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh. And okay. Then spell out your name a second time. Mm. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Okay. Only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has okay. concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming. Why does he I'm look Dunny like that? With the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. 
<laughs> Dunny Good. with the funny. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Mm. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective mm, survey mm. should be no less than 10 pages long. Oh, and should okay. include the same question reprinted several times. Okay. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention. What's that third hand doing, though? And answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences oh my God. over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at One all. of those, two of those, just Justin Bieber, four of those. At some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all... Where each of us needed on the front lines <laughs> of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very is likely it die in a hailstorm. Why is that one got a hairy All leg? Of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children <laughs> must do after us oh my and God. their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, a little bit. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Okay. Come along, let's head back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. Okay. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Fair, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do overthink Don't overthink it. it. It's fine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then we do one more. Nyum. Look where we are, where we need to be. Here we go. You ready? Yep. <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Oh. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I no. think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? <laughs> Here we go. You oh. ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Yeah, left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back. Oh. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back. Oh, okay. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they, they entered, entered the, the door, door on the left. left. So I'm going no, on the no, left. No, no, no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they, they entered, entered the, the door, door on their left. left. Well, do the right. Well, I don't remember it being a, a dark pit, but you know. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There was supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Yeah, there was. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. 
and it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. It happens. I made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm no. Nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. No. Think... It's okay. I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. I'm well, sorry. Surely that will help me improve my... Sterling, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just, I'm no good at these jokes. I'm sorry. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. We're gonna go get the last figurine. Mm -hmm. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. And there it is, the last Stiggly Wiggly. Stiggly Wiggly! This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. Mm -hmm. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. Thank you. But that would be like a reward, oh. and we can't have that. Okay. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. Hey. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Okay. Okay. And then there is a small amount of things to do left. Um, we got all the figurines. We got the bucket. Uh, I think there's like one or two other things that we gotta do, which I'll make a short video on that later. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys again. Goodbye.